Michelangelo for having me. Um, last night Angelo talked to Doug McDonald <clears throat> and Steve Martinucci. So I'd like to say, um, let's talk story. I'd like to put in my and bring to mind the people in life uh, who have inspired me, who, who have been my mentors, my teachers, who have set a good example for me and you know, who encouraged me with friendship, love, and being kind and helpful and generous. Um, I'd like to share with you some of these people once again as I talk story. Kawhi Katya, a lovely um, ukulele player. Uh, I talked to your son. Uh, 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 yeah, Kawhi Katya, I love the way you play. I called him one time, I talked to him. Eleanor Loya, I, um, my teacher, I brought him up to um, to wildlife one time, I remember carrying him, carrying him up the stairs. My good, my, my teacher. I used to go to his house to practice. So I used to, my teacher again. <coughs> Kahano Lake. I um, met with him at the wrong, wrong building in wildlife. Howard Chung is my teacher. He went from um, he's an upright bass player. He, uh, he went to um, uh, he went to a school in the mainland. Uh, uh, I like to sell him to Tina Santiago. Rod Young, Steve Martinucci, and to Steve's sister, my mom and dad Martinucci. Uh, Caleb Machida, Louis Akau in Memorial, and uh, Philip Akau, his son, my teacher. And again, Pat Wong in Memorial, John, uh, George Chun, Andrea, Sean Chun, Tom Moffat, the Jamie Brown, Wally Vincent, Danny Kali Akini, Donna Butterworth, Susan Nakano, Jake Chimabukuro, George Hurd, Gil Machado, David Choi, my, one of my teachers from Puerto Rico, classical, Jimmy Moeno, and then we have uh, Raya Tayo, Helm, one of my favorite ukulele players and singers. Johnny Gaspang from the, back in the day, Bobby Del Peralta, back in the day, my family member. Elena Martinez, uh, and then we have uh, Grando Pang, went to Canada with him, and uh, his group, 
and then we have uh, uh, basically Tom Chun. Yep, mom and dad, uh, Martinez. Uh, basically, basically, that's what it is. You know, I just want to say a lot to these people. Uh, today's Halloween is, is regarding the blues. The blues basically is <clears throat> the beginning of jazz. Starts off with the one, the four, and the five, which is the three basic chord, cha uh, chord changes in jazz. So today, we, uh, if you look over here, then uh, I got uh, the G major scale. This is <coughs> I gave this to you already regarding the circle of fourths and fifths. So I'm in, in the key of G, it has one sharp. Then we have the Roman numeral system. The, the Roman numeral, capital Roman numeral is major. Minuscule Roman numeral is minor. So, um, and, and the scale goes, the Arabic uh, numbers are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the, basically the scale steps. The scale actually ends on the seventh degree. Okay, so it goes G major seven, <coughs> First degree, second degree, E minus seven, third degree, B minus seven, the C major seven is the fourth degree, D major seven, uh, D seven is the fifth, E minus seven is the sixth, and F sharp minus seven is the seventh degree. Going back to eight. Now the thing about F sharp minus seven, F sharp minus seven is uh, actually the, the the minus seven five five is actually the five seven with no root. F sharp minus seven is spelled F sharp A C E. That's the one flat three flat five and flat seven. F sharp. D7, which is the, the fifth degree, is spelled D, F sharp, A, C. D is a one, in the key of D, D is a one, F sharp is the three, A is the five, C natural is a flat seven. As you can see over here, F sharp, A, C, E, F sharp, A, C, and the E would be the ninth. At the key of D, um, D is a one, F sharp is a three, A is a <coughs> two, the D is a one, F sharp is the third, major third, a is the perfect fifth, uh, C is the flat seven, and E is the ninth. See the common tones? F sharp, A, C, E, D, F sharp, A, C. So what, what that is, is uh, the D7 is the, equals a D ninth, D7, D, F sharp, A, C, D ninth, D, F sharp, A, C, E, and uh, the F, F sharp minus seven flat five is F sharp, A, C, E. Uh, so it's basically a D7 chord with no root. Yep, so the formula goes D7 equals F sharp minus 7 flat 5. That's an algebra of it. And that's what it is. Um, the word is superimposed. So instead of playing the D7, you can play the F sharp minus 7 flat 5. Okay. Um, how do we use this? Okay, first of all, let's go major blues. Okay, when you're doing this, um, Martin each, uh, Steve Martinucci, my teacher, teacher so we always use a metronome. So you count it like this with a jazz feel. Two, four, two, and then you interject one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. G major seven. G major seven. E minor seven. Third degree, E minor seven. E flat minor seven, perfect system, diminish. Seven. Then you go G major seven. B minor seven. B flat minor seven. Minor seven. And then you stop on the G major seven. Okay, that's a major blues. Uh, we use that in uh, Hawaiian contemporary these chord changes. Basically, what it is is your the the B flat minor seven flat five is simply acting as a diminished chord. The way what what happens is from G to this one G major seven to A minor. Right, the diminished chord connects the G major seven to the A minor, and then the, from the A minor to the B minor. That's how that works. So it's a it's a half step resolution. Uh, so the diminished chord is used in um, the major blues. So then against the major blues, you look at a G major scale. When you're using the major scale, <coughs> what you want to do is you, you want to uh, sing what you hear in your head. Then you want to be sure you validate what you're hearing is, is worth playing. Huh? 
So what you want to do is you want to sing the scale. And uh, from different parts, sing it from the the, the one. Da, 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 da. Motif is a small idea, so you take a small piece. So then you play, what you sing, you create the head. And you play what you sing. So basically what it is is you're using pitch memory and you're creating the lines coming from your um now comes coming from you. You're singing number one, listen you listen to the scale. Number two, um sing the scale, right? And number three, uh play what you sing. And uh, basically what you want to do is you want to um when you're taking solo, you're uh, improvising on the melody, or, or you can improvise uh, on the changes. But you want to know the melody. Whole, um, EK, uh, uh, yes. Basically, what you want to do is you want to play the the melody, whole oh, kind, and uh, and you play what is familiar. So when you're doing motifs, you want to repeat yourself at least three times. <laughs> So you establish the idea and you listen on yourself, you repeat yourself. So when you keep repeating the idea, then uh, it, uh, it becomes mesmerizing. But if you keep changing the idea, then it's, it's, um, it's, not as easy, it's not easy for people to understand what, what you're saying. You want to trade in your scales for music, uh, a motif, a sentence, a phrase, uh, a phrase. Okay, so what, what we've got here, G major scale against this one here. Okay, now what I did is I took the one, four, and the five, and the key of G, what is the one, four, and the five? That's correct, G7, C7, and D7. So right there we have uh, rock and roll. C. G. When you do it slow, it's blues. When you do it fast, that is fifth classic rock. Uh, but basically when you um, you're approaching jazz you want to go from the blues or the rock to jazz did you add in the E7 over there so it goes G7 C7 and you, and you, it's a horn stab pop pop right here this is uh, basically I'm approaching the chord the chord slide to the four uh, bar number five of the second this is called a four bar phrase. This is four bar phrase, phase, four bar phase. Songs are written in four bar phrase. It says the C7, C7, G7, the E7, then the D7. Now I've already switched over to jazz. I'm doing walking four bass.
funk. Take a G7 chord. Okay, you hold in line. static you just stand on one chord but you get a groove on that uh, and you're approaching the, the, the one chord it's basically the ninth chord and then the, you, you create a you, uh, you lock into the groove on that basically of course you like to that but um, here we have dominant seven blues which is 12 bar blues and then we have the major blues of which would it is Hawaiian contemporary and then we have the jazz where you superimpose so to superimpose the one chord is the G major seven. You can superimpose the E minor seven. The E minor seven is uh, E G B D. The G major seven chord is G B D F sharp. The, you see what the common tones are? Against the C chord, you can superimpose the A minor. The C is spelled C E G B. The A minor is A C E G. You see the the, the common tones. Okay. So, uh, so the B minor, basically, what can you superimpose against the B minor, which is the third degree? You superimpose the one, the one chord, G, B, D, F, uh, B, G, B, D, F sharp. The B minor is B, D, F, uh, B, D, F sharp, A, B, D, F sharp, A. See the common tones there? And against the D7, the 5, 7, uh, with the D, F sharp, A, C, and uh, you can superimpose the, F sharp, A, C, and E, uh, which is that? F sharp is a uh, one, A is a flat third, C sharp is a flat five, and uh, E is a flat seven. Can you see the, the naturals? Uh, and then you go back to the eight, which is the back to the one again. So the scale basically is um, completed on the seven degree. This is C major seven, uh, G major seven. This is a four bar phase, four bar phase, four bar phase. Four, the phases start with one, five, and nine. So you want to know where you are. And uh, we normally feel 12, 12 bars when you're playing the blues. Okay, uh, basically that's what it is. Um, when you're playing the, the G7, you can play a G minor pentatonic. You go to the C7, A minor pentatonic. six-tone scale. The pentatonic scale is a five-tone scale. My favorite country guitar player is uh, Bob, uh, Emmanuel, Tommy Emmanuel. When he plays, he sounds like a guitar player. Um, real nice picking and uh, real nice, but when you listen to a good jazz player like Tel Farlow, uh, Jimmy Smith, uh, George Benson, um, they sound like horns. They sound like a horn player. So when you when you're phrasing pop, but a ba da but a pop, and then you have the pregnant pause where you you just quiet. That's how, just like how a sax player would phrase. So we're getting into the the learning objective here t t tonight. Okay, basically, what we did is uh, we went from uh, blues to rock to uh, Hawaiian contemporary, well, contemporary music to uh, blues, which is slow, uh, slow and moving. And then we went to uh, classic rock, which is faster. And from there, we went to funk, which is just a five-seven chord based on uh, a, a groove, a static in, in nature. Also, if you look at it this way, the one the the G7 chord is a five chord of what? C, right? It's a five of C. You can blow the C chord against here. 
Now, if you look at the second degree, the second chord, we have C7 is the 501. F, that's correct. However, you don't have too much time, so you simply blow the, the one cut against this. If you, you want to experiment, the C7 chord is the 5 of F. You can play that. You can play the F scale over here. So it's going to look like this. Okay. When you play tunes, when you play jazz tunes, basically it's like this from here to here. Then you're going to play a C scale. From over here to here, then you play an F scale. C7 is the is a one. Uh, C7 is a five of F. C7. This is from here. Basically, it's all C. Okay. From then the, over here, C7 here. This is a C7 is a five of F. Yeah. Okay. And then G7 and E7. So over here, G7 is basically the five of C, right? E7 is the five of A. And D7 is a five of D. Now, if you look, up, you see the book ends over here. So you superimpose right here, this whole thing. You just blow the G scale against this whole thing. G major. Why? Because you don't have too much time. It moves too fast. And when you're doing that, you, then you're creating blues, uh, blues tones, the blue notes. And you're doing it um, arbitrarily. You know? Uh, basically, it's what it is. And then you're selecting, the power of selection is not all by ear. Like when Angelo plays, he selects certain notes that he stops on. It's a, uh, it, it's part of his um, his hearing, yeah, his DNA, and uh, that's called um, pitch memory. And then muscle memory is what we do physically. Auditory is your um, is your pitch memory, a uh, pitch memory. Kinesthetic is your uh, your 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 feeling. You, you you feel it physical. So there's pitch memory, auditory and uh, visual, the uh, your visual memory, and your visual skills uh, basically is your perception. And um, uh, we, we do what is called a, a mental rehearsal, the one you practice the, the chords in your head, the designs and the patterns. But you see yourself performing. They do that in sports as well. Okay, so the learning objective here is uh, to, to play the blues based on the the, the key center that I gave you, the, the the one major, the two minor, three minor, the four major, seven, five, seven, the six minor, seven, the B minor, seven, the five minor, seven, flat five, the seven minor, seven, flat five, back to the one. So this lesson is basically for the intermediate and for the advanced player. To play this, basically, um, you basically um, need to know your, um, your major scale, okay? Um, in, uh, in, the, in the different keys, in the key of C, in the key of F, in the key of G, and in the key of A. Or you can just build a G major scale against this whole thing right here. And that's what uh, they do for the Hawaiian Contemporary. You just stay in one key. But when you're doing jazz tunes, like all the things you are, Misty, Duzet, you're changing keys constantly. Basically, it's 251. So let's get back to it over here. In the key of G, what is the one, four, and five progression? It's G, C, and D7 is correct. What is the one, six, two, five progression? The one is a G major seven. What's the six? E minor seven. The two is a A minor seven, and the five is a D7. It's the one, six, two, five. So they're like breezing. Six, two, five, back to one. What is the one, two progression? G major, G's major, major seven to A minor seven. So this. Grooving, grooving. What key am I in? G, so you blow the G major scale against that. You superimpose it. So that's how you do jazz tunes. Jazz tunes basically go two, five to the one. Uh, in and out into different keys, and it's more um, it's more complex. So th um, for that, I want you to use your your knowledge of the the circle of fourths and fifths that can go into different keys. So in closing, I like to say, Ho'olohe, listen. Okay, and then uh, the word of God says, where there is no guidance, people fail or fall, but in the multitude of counselors, plans are established. So even though you do things on your own, yes, you're going to succeed, right? 
but sometimes you don't. So this elimina eliminates the sometimes, and that's when you have what is called a mastermind. A mastermind is when you have other people helping you, like Henry Ford, he surrounded himself with geniuses. So yeah, all, you, know, you got good people that surround yourself with the best people that you know, the best players. Nathan Navial, you know, the, you have uh, Fiona Beamer. All the best players that you can think of. And walk up to them and ask questions. Remember I just, what I said, the, the great minds ask questions. And get information that you need. When we first started, we did not know what, what to ask. You know, but as time goes by, then you, you eventually found it. We didn't know what to work on, but eventually you found out what to work on by asking questions and by discovering trial and error. Okay? okay? So uh, basically, just start and have fun. I want to encourage everybody, in, in order to sound good, you've got to start by sounding bad. In order to be a good batter, you got to miss. In order to be a good pool player, you got to lose. That's how it goes, you know, and just in life. Never give up but try I'll keep trying and yes I can the affirmation is I can I can I can you just do it let your actions speak louder than words all right oh Lohi. listen oh cool um, practice Holomua succeed play the melody always play the melody play the right changes play in tune and play in time okay um, Take liberties on the melody, improvise. And with that said, aloha nui. Thank you, Andrew.